after we buried her, I just sedated myself on a lot of pills and alcohol because I just couldn't take it. I didn't care about my band. I didn't care about my uh, friends or family or anybody. For months and months and months, I really just tried to kill myself. I just wanted to die. So this went on for two years after she passed away. And I was in and out of eight or nine rehabs. I just couldn't get a grip on what had just happened in my life. And I felt she was waiting for me. And that's the only place that I wanted to go, is I just wanted to be with her. The one thing that I, I always kept with me is her blankie. It smelled just like her. And I, I would sleep with it. I wanted to be just close to it. I wanted to be close to her. One night, I was laying in bed and, with her blanket and still going through you know, my demons of just w wanting to die. I was sound asleep. And there was a little tug on her blankie. I woke up, I opened my eyes. It was dead silent. And the door was open. I was scared. I, it, it, I didn't know what was going on. And it was, it was her. 